Tesla is making great progress in installing production equipment at Giga Berlin. These are shown in leaked photos and also in this report I'm going to talk about the German minister who wants to who wants Tesla to open its supercharger network to all electric vehicles and I would like to see what you think about this. Welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here the first time please subscribe to our channel join our community and give us thumbs up please like this video and share in social media we would greatly greatly appreciate it eva fox has the details from the tasmanian.com eva says new photos of giga berlin recently leaked on the internet show tesla continues to actively install production equipment the body in white shop BIW will soon be ready for production. Eva says previously several photos of the equipment installation process have already been found on Google Maps and now user Vielkopolan79 has added a few again. The photos were taken at the BIW building and, and show that many assembly robots at the Tesla Giga Berlin factory are already in place. The party between the different sections are also already installed some photographs show cables lying on the floor and power cabinet open next to the workers which may indicate that the robots at the Tesla Giga Berlin factory are plugging into the electric grid about one week ago Eva Fox says photos were already received at how robots in BIW building are working at Tesla Giga Berlin one of the photos showed that two right side parts of the model Y's body another photo was taken from above and gives a broader view of what is happening on the production line i'm amazed personally how fast tesla was able to build tesla giga berlin friends i'm sure you are too and we're just waiting for some uh, new documents to be dis uh, discussed by the public in order for tesla to finally get the final permit to go on now the robots moved at least three single pieces ends of model y all observations and photographs taken indicate that the creation of Giga Berlin is proceeding according to the original plan. However, due to the lengthy approval processes that I just mentioned and later due to changes made to the factory design, it remains kind of unknown when exactly the production process will start. This is expected to happen before the end of 2021 and all things indicate that things are moving forward very fast and we're very close to that. As a reminder, body in white, which I just mentioned, the BIW is the stage in automobile manufacturing in which a car's body frame has been joined together, which is before painting and before the motor, chassis, sub-assemblies or trim has have been integrated into the structure. In fact, it is in this workshop that the body of car is first formed. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about these developments, about these things. And also, we're learning that a German minister wants Tesla to open its supercharger networks to all electric vehicles. Uh, the German Federal Minister of Transport wants Tesla to let all electric vehicles use its superchargers. Supporters of Tesla expanding access to its superchargers say it will speed up the wide scale adoption of electric vehicles. There are still many logistical hurdles to overcome. Uh, so Talk News Daniel Capo, Talk News Tesla reporter Daniel Capo has the details of this story. Uh, but before I go there, I would like to ask you to please let me know in the comments section what do you think are the logistics of this and what do you think uh, Tesla will gain from this. But I personally think that this will benefit a lot of people because a lot of people will um, buy electric vehicles because they know that now they have access to Tesla superchargers and this will really speed up the uh, adoption of electric vehicles. Um, there have been a lot of ideas, uh, Daniel Capo says, put forward as to what the future of electric vehicle charging should look like. Uh, there was some discussion not too long ago that it may be time for Tesla to stop making its own chargers. There have been those who support a shared charging system that isn't run by any particular electric vehicle maker. However, we are now talking about 
about a shared charging network run by Tesla and not another entity. Now, why other electric vehicle brands could be brought into the fold? Tesla has an elaborate infrastructure of over 25,000 superchargers worldwide. This number should grow as Tesla gains traction in more countries. It has been said Tesla superchargers could be built to be suitable for use even if you have an electric vehicle that is not a Tesla car. Tesla superchargers are a powerful 250 kilowatt. Um, another electric vehicle maker could eclipse Tesla with a figure of higher than 250 kilowatt, but Tesla still has a supercharger that could charge most electric vehicles. Tesla also has the global supercharger network already in place and growing. Many startup electric vehicle manufacturers are still putting the pieces together in terms of their charging infrastructure. In fact, Tesla the other day, Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla may grow its power of the supercharger from 250 to 280 300 and up to 350 kilowatt now when i reported that news couple of days ago some people were concerned that what will that do to the battery so if you have any ideas about that and about the implications to the battery let me know play, uh, uh, please in the comment section now there are many concerns about tesla spearheading a universal charging network daniel capo explains in torque news he says tesla is probably capable of doing something like this but there are potential technical issues as well as issues with this kind of business approach um, in terms of technical issues some older electric vehicles could be left out of tesla's charging system for example some nissan leaf vehicles use an older plug that may not be uh, compatible with the latest Tesla superchargers. So what do you think the solution should be for these types of vehicles, for older and uh, uh, Nissan vehicles that kind of pioneered the first stage of adopting electric vehicles? Uh, now, there are also problems with using this kind of business strategy. Daniel Capo explains, saying Tesla shouldn't have a monopoly over all of the electric vehicle chargers in the world. And I agree with this because I don't think one company having monopoly over all electric vehicle chargers in the world is not a good idea. If Tesla wants to have a large stake in the charging system, Tesla will have to coordinate with other electric vehicle manufacturers to make sure the technology caters to the needs of all the various cars across different brands. Another thing that would have to be figured out is payment. It would have to be decided whether a non-Tesla owner would be paying Tesla to charge his or her car. Also, other electric vehicle manufacturers might not want Tesla to control most of the superchargers. It is also unknown if other electric vehicle manufacturers will still be making uh, their own superchargers, even if Tesla does expand access to their superchargers. Now, I have a question. Why can't supercharging business be a business like the uh, current gas stations, like everybody can... Um, can use them and or everyone can uh, start a gas station and have their own business what uh, what why can we do that and uh, in this regard if everyone starts a charging business uh, will this will then tesla decide one day to create a separate entity for its supercharging business or maybe even sell it so you just you know because like gas stations are not owned by car companies right so will this business model evolve and change so that we don't know yet, friends. Now, a recent tweet shows a long line of Teslas waiting to use a charging station. Most responded to the tweet. Uh, actually, Elon Musk responded to that tweet and announced uh, that major superchargers will be built. More superchargers will be built. This is another argument against Tesla expanding access to their superchargers. It could cause long lines if Tesla isn't able to meet demand right away. Now, I think we just need to, um, uh, I don't know about the logistics of starting a supercharging business, but why can't separate entities like people, business people, start their own supercharging business, like you create gas stations, or why can't we turn somehow current gas stations into um, 
uh, electric vehicle charging stations. If you have any ideas about that, please let me know, friends, in the comment section below. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. And, you know, if you are looking uh, for a riding position, Torque News is hiring. We're hiring uh, reporters to report electric vehicles and Tesla daily riding, daily work, and uh, competitive pay. Let me know, please. Uh, come uh, Contact me at TorqueNews.com, info at TorqueNews.com. Send me a sample. And also, let me know what you think about the progress at Giga Berlin, which I started this report with, and the images that you have been seeing. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone, and peace be with all of you. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. And give us thumbs up, please, if you found this video helpful.